on guys? In today's video, I'll be showing you how to play 2.6 Hog Cycle in 2022. Alright, hopping in the first match, we do have Hog Rider in our starting hand. Always the best starting play with 2.6, even in 2022. Just a really nice opportunity to get some early damage if your opponent has a bad cycle. Really nice two Hog Shots there, you kind of delayed his Lumberjack a little bit too much, or just had like a slow reaction timing. I'll just go with my cheap cards here, a uh, pretty nice start. It could be like a Lumberloon Freeze deck or a Golem deck. He'll have Bowler though, so it definitely has to be Lumberloon Freeze. I'll just go with my Musketeer here. Nowadays the Fireball does actually knock back Balloons and stuff, so it's not really as important for you to always save your Musketeer in hand. It's fine to waste it sometimes against these different troops that he's going to have. I'll go with the Hog Rider. Kind of a weird Hog Rider, but I think it should do a good job tanking for this Bowler. And it should still force out a Nada. Yeah, just force out the Nada. And I think Musketeer should stay alive. Yeah, it does kill his Bowler. I'll go with my Ice Spirit as well, just try to get the maximum value out of it. He does have to bar, bro. That was like a super good Musketeer, though. So yeah, in this match, we don't really have to worry too much about saving your Musketeer for their pushes. You can always just, like, spend them on your opponent's boulders and different stuff like that. I'm gonna go with a Fireball here on his Lumberjack. He does decide to freeze on defense. That's 8 Elixir, though. And we got some nice tower damage with our Fireball. If he didn't freeze there, our Skeletons probably would have distracted his Lumberjack and allowed our Hulk to take, like half of his tower, so that was pretty well played by us anyways. I think I'll just cycle a bunch of fireballs throughout this match on his tower. We do have pretty good air counters with the Ice Spirit as well, so we don't really need to worry too much about the defensive end of things, at least for now. I feel like it does get a bit harder in double elixir against this deck. He can't really clear musketeers too well with these bowlers unless he tries to nade away, but he can't really spend the nado since we do have the Hall Rider. Uh, pretty good skeletons, they're gonna kill his ball barrel. We will nade our hog to his king tower. I'm not really afraid to go with my fireball on his inferno dragon though. It does take almost half the HP off of it. I'll go with the ice golem here, try to get like a hog rider down as well. Oh, the ice golem does, the ice golem does tank for the musketeer there, but he does have to go with his lumberjack. That should be like two hog shots, yeah. Okay, he will balloon right now, this could be a bit sketchy. I don't know how we're gonna defend this honestly, but we do have ice spirit in hand. And the Fireball. I'll go with the Fireball just to knock this stuff back, and I think Musketeer should take it out. Oh, he does Nado. Yeah, it's a little bit bad here. It does get sketchy sometimes. I'll go with my Hall Rider. He has no Nado in cycle, so it should at least get one shot, I think, unless he overcommits on it. Yeah, it does get one shot even past that War Barrel. I don't know how that still got the hit there. I think I'll just set up a Musketeer here. It's pretty easy to stack a bunch of Musketeers in this matchup and just completely dominate them. Here goes the Inferno Dragon there next to his tower. I don't want to fireball it just yet though. I think I'll fireball his baby dragon instead. It's a little bit more annoying than his Inferno Dragon. Uh, kind of a weird freeze by him. Not really going to do too much since we have our second Musketeer already down. Should be a pretty easy defense at this point. He'll go with the Balloon as well. Okay, I'm going to go with my Hog Rider. Okay, this is going to be close. Hog Rider one shot. Hog Rider two shots. Good game. Okay, in the next match, we're going to be up against Blank. We have a pretty good starting hand here. I'll just go with the Split Skeletons first play. I'm going to go with my Hall Rider as well. Uh, he might have like a Nado or something. Yeah, he'll have Nado. Uh, he does have to Fire Spirit though. Could be like an E-Giant deck here, because I don't think any other deck runs Fire Spirit and Nado in this meta. I'll just go with my Ice Gloom to bait out something. Make sure he's running E-Giant. Yeah, he has the Inferno Dragon. I'm actually gonna go with my Fireball here on it, just hit his King Tower, Princess Tower, and Inferno Dragon. It almost fully dies to our tower now since it's only at like half HP, so it's actually a pretty decent play for us. Definitely gonna be an E Giant deck here, seeing the Golden Knight as well. He'll go with the Lightning here on our Musket here. It's kind of still worth it for us though. Gonna be a negative true trade for him. I don't really have the best cycle there, so kinda was forced to do that. I think I'll go with my Skeletons here. Really good Skeletons, gonna allow both of our towers to target his Golden Knight. Yeah, fully counter it there. I'll just go with a Bait Ice Golem here, try to bait out something from him. He'll go with the Bar Barrel. I'll go with my Hog Rider here as well. Let's see. Oh, he misses the cannon! That should be good damage. He has the Nado, okay. He does have a lot of Hog counters in his deck, so it's kind of hard to ever break through. I think I can outcycle him though, since he wasted both of his counters. He does have Fire Spirit, so it does make it a bit harder, though, to outcycle him. Okay, I'll go with another Ice Golem here. Gonna go with the Hog Rider as well. Try to get some nice sneaky damage here while he has a bad cycle. Yeah. Oh, he messed up another cannon! 
This guy's worse than Riley. With the cannons. <laughs> Man, that's incredible. How do you miss a cannon twice in a row like that? <laughs> Only at each giant player. <laughs> okay, I'll go with my Ice Golem here as well. I'll try to maybe get like a Hog Rider behind it, but he will go with the Fire Spirit. I'll just go with my Hog Rider here anyways. Gonna Musketeer too. A bit of a weird Musketeer, but I think it should be a bit awkward for him. Yeah, we'll look onto his tower. That was actually a really good Musketeer there. Kind of identifying that he had nothing in cycle for it. So I feel like defense isn't really too hard in this matchup. The main problem is the offense. You don't really have too many ways to break through their stuff. Um, he misses another cannon! Bro, this guy's built different, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna go with a fireball here. I think his Inferno Dragon should go in front of everything. Okay, Golden Knight's going crazy. Okay, wait. I didn't just choke, did I? <laughs> Bro, this guy's crazy though. He just missed three cannons in a row. Like, you guys can rewatch that stuff. Like, he missed three cannons. Okay, I think I'll just go with my high cannon here. Oh, he actually hits the lightning. Okay. Are we dead? Question. Are we dead? I'm gonna fireball this. Okay, I think we're not fully dead right now. It's gonna be a very close game though. No, he made us. Skeletons. Okay, we're good. We're good. Yeah. I can't let someone beat me who just missed like three cannons in a row. <laughs> no way I'm letting this guy win. Okay, he's gonna lightning his own tower. I'll just go with my musketeer here. I'm gonna go with my skellies as well. This was like a really crazy game, but that will be a nice and easy win. Got the next match. By the way guys, I'm a bit tired right now, so I do apologize if my commentary is a bit slow. I feel like I said everything like 30 seconds late last match. Hope you guys still enjoy though. Also, really good start. You're gonna force out the fireball from him, and we do get one hog shot. I think he's running a mortar deck here, seeing the dark goblin. Dark goblin's a pretty good card, but it's not really too, too used these days. Yeah, he'll have minor and bats as well. Should be an easy defense though. I feel like this matchup is so much easier ever since the mortar nerf, because two hog rider shots plus a fireball does fully take out the mortar now. It used to require three hog shots to take out a mortar, even with the fireball. Yeah, I'm gonna try to show it right here. I'll go with my fireball and his mortar, and Hawkeye should take it out pretty quickly. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna do a lot of damage, too. Gets two shots. That's really good. Yeah, that's a really good start. I feel like before the mortar nerf, that Hawkeye would have got almost no damage on his tower. Probably no damage, to be honest. So we're looking pretty good so far. Just need to, like, maintain a, a nice lead, and should have a pretty good time as we head into double elixir in a little bit. You go with the Dark Goblin, I'll go with my Skellies here. Fully take it out. I'll go with the Hog Rider as well. You have no Earthquake in this deck, so it's not as easy to break through, but it's still a pretty good time. Yeah, we actually get one more Hog Rider shot there just from outcycling him. It's a bit harder to get your Hog Riders through to the tower, but it's not too hard to outcycle your opponents in most matchups. Really good Ice Golem here as well, gonna tank for his Rascal Boy, or kind of just like kite it a little bit. I think I'll just go with the low musketeer here in the opposite lane. He can't really fireball it and the weak side tower, so it should work out well for us. I'm not sure why I went with the offensive mortar there. Uh, go with my ice spirit here. Should be able to defend everything. Oh, the bats do kind of just like completely avoid that uh, ice spirit. We're still fine though. I think like something got some damage on the right side. Not really too sure what happened. I wasn't really paying attention to be honest. I'll just go with another musketeer here in the back. You go with the dark goblin. It is a bit scary against the Goblin gang sometimes when you waste your log, but I feel like it should be worth it here. Because the Dark Goblin is just like so annoying sometimes. Yeah, he'll go with the Goblin gang right at the bridge here. I think I have to go with another log on it. That's fine by me though. He wasted his Mortar as well on defense. I feel like he's almost back to another Mortar though. Yeah, he's probably already back to another Mortar. I'll still go with my Hog Rider though, just to try to outcycle him I guess. Gonna go with the Mustard here on his Dark Goblin. Should tank for his Mortar as well. Yeah, does catch his minor too with our musketeer. I'm gonna go with another ice golem plus hog rider. I think he has like nothing for this unless he cycle back to their mortar. Yeah, he'll have another mortar. We do get the ice golem death nova damage. That's at least something. I'll go with the musketeer here in the back. I think I have to fireball this goblin game. That's fine by me though. As long as we don't take like a ton of damage from something random, I think we should be looking pretty good here. Super nice ice spirit there. I'll just go with the log here on his Dark Goblin. No! The Dark Goblin went for the Skeletons! Okay, that was like a 200 IQ Dark Goblin, but we still come out fine. 
<laughs> okay, that could have been a bit, a bit bad, but we're fine. Musketeer should take out his mortar here. Gonna go with my Ice Spirit as well to catch his bats. We do kill most of his bats there. Yeah, I think Hulk should almost take it with this Fireball. Good game. Got the next match against one of the best Giant Double Prince players. This is one of the few good matchups still available for 2.6 players, so it's always a good day whenever you find him on ladder. I'll just go with my Ice Golem here for his mana. You have so many cheap distractions to almost all of their units, so it's not really too hard to defend. I know for some of the newer 2.6 players it can get a bit interesting though, so I feel like it might still be good for some of you guys to go over this matchup. So I think his Dark Prince should be able to die here to our Musketeer. I'm gonna go with my Log as well, so it kind of gets knocked back. I'm gonna go with my Hog Rider in the opposite lane since he wasted his Prince. He doesn't really have any good response to the Hog. The Hog Rider does get 3 shots even past the Mega Man, so yeah, it's gonna be some very good damage. Should be an easy cannon here for his Giant. I'll go with my Musketeer as well. We have to counter this Mega Minion. He'll go with the Miner. He has no Elixir for his Zap, though. Yeah. So it should be an easy defense. I'll go with my Ice Spirit as well to kill his Miner. Musketeer does somehow stay alive through everything. I'm gonna go with the Hog Rider here since we have our Musketeer kind of counter pushing. We just have to go for it, e -wiz. We do get one shot, though. Just like so good for us. This start. We got some good damage on the right side as well, so we can really pick and choose whichever lane we want to push into. Okay, we're going to be in double elixir pretty soon here. Could get a bit more tricky then, but I think we should be fine. The fireball does almost fully kill the cannon now though. And I know he has fireball in his deck, so it could be a bit tricky with that thing, but I feel like besides that, it's not really too worrisome of a matchup. I'll go with my ice Home to kite his dark prince. Really nice plus two elixir trade. Okay, we'll go with the giant plus prince. I'll go with my musketeer here. I think he has like no good response to a hog rider though, so we could probably try to punish him right here. I'll go with my hog rider. I'm gonna go with my Skelly's pull his prince towards the middle. Is he just gonna ignore that entire hog rider? Okay, wait, this could be like almost tower on the right side. I think we should be good on defense here with the fireball. I don't know how we're gonna stop the dark prince. I'll go with my log here. Okay, we should be good actually. <laughs> Somehow. You can see how easy defense is for us. And he can't really defend our hog riders very well, so it's a pretty good matchup. I'll go with my hog rider just to finish off his tower. And I think that should be a good game. So thank you guys for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye!